Well, good morning, folks. It's the Real Captain Kirk here. It is the 2nd of November, day 230 remote. Uh, real quick, looking at a recap here of last week, the last uh, full week of October here. Uh, this is the big map here is uh, weather trends versus a year ago for the same period on a retail calendar. So here in the U.S., we were 1.4 degrees warmer than a year ago, but still fourth cold in 35 years. So obviously very cold here in the U.S., much below average national temperatures. 35% drier than a year ago, but that was still six wettest in 35 years. Um, snowfall was 11% less than last year, but still four snowiest uh, with a few systems that went through the through the U.S. here. Up in Canada, pretty cold. 3.6 degrees colder than a year ago, making it the coldest in 18 years for Canada. Europe, just a tad warmer, but again, warmest in three years in Europe. Russia, 3.3 warmer, warmest in seven. China, a bit warmer, warmest in eight years. Australia, colder, uh, colds in four. Uh, India, also warmer than three in three years. Uh, Brazil, cooled off a bit, again, uh, 2.3 degrees cooler and coldest in four years. Uh, maps inset left there are trends versus average. Um, one thing that's uh, pretty much uh, off the scale here is the, the second most dry to drought conditions in uh, at least 20 years. So uh, most in eight years for those of us with dry to drought conditions. Again, really hard hit in the west, uh, moving into the plains and parts of the northeast. Uh, we actually think this is going to go to about 70 percent at some point here between now and uh, next year um, and then probably get some relief as we go into the winter season next year so again uh, dry cycle we believe continues uh, well into 2021 here with a strong la nina that'll begin to diminish next year uh, hurricane ada number system number 29 uh, looks like it's going to be a potentially cat 2 hurricane as it makes a uh, landfall here uh, in nicaragua the unusual thing about this storm is it looks like it's going to make a right turn and head back toward uh, potentially Cuba and then uh, Florida. You are not out of the woods. Uh, several of the operational models show um, Florida having some risk from Ada um, here. So we'll see if uh, if it maintains the name. Uh, they may change the name here depending on uh, if it dissipates completely. But uh, Florida, you need to watch early next week uh, for the remnants of Ada that may become um, become another hurricane. This week here, 2 through 8 November 2020, uh, looking at uh, the U.S. overall, much, much warmer here. Nine degrees warmer than last year, making it the warmest in four years. Fourth hottest in 35 years, so much above average national temperatures. If you're in the West, you may want to enjoy this a bit because a uh, big pattern shift here for the western half of the country. Driest in 11 years, fifth driest in 35 years, so much below average on the precip front. Snowiest in three years, ninth snowiest in 35 years. We still got some lingering snow in New England, and we'll be adding that uh, later this week into the... Northwest Rocky Mountains. Um, election day tomorrow. Again, if you've been on a different planet, maybe I didn't know that was happening tomorrow. But um, again, not too bad. Uh, most of the country is extremely dry. We got a little bit of snow up there in the high elevations of New England and uh, some rain in the Pacific Northwest, but otherwise wall to wall dry for pretty much the entire U.S. Uh, so cold along the East Coast, Southeast, and uh, hot in the uh, for this time of year for the plains and central U.S. and the West. So not a bad day to, to get out there and vote. Looking at um, the snowfall here again, we see those lingering lake effects. Extremely windy outside uh, 360 Studio here today. Um, gusting to 45 miles an hour at least. Uh, saw our first snowflakes uh, here in eastern PA. Uh, so you see that lake effect snow here today. This is ending 7 o'clock tonight. Um, lingers into election day tomorrow uh, for the high elevations in New England, but uh, most of the country is extremely dry. And then Wednesday here, not much snow at all in the U.S. And Thursday, next to none. And then Friday, we start to see some, some snow moving into the, as that cold there moves into the northwest uh, northern rocky mountains so they'll get back to the wintry stuff here as we go toward the, the late week weekend time frame next week again we got to watch this uh, hurricane potential uh, you see the models are definitely predicting it for florida maybe the outer banks of north carolina and then uh, hopefully a right turn off the east coast here but um, anywhere from florida to uh, north carolina you need to watch the remnants of edda as we get into monday tuesday early next week again very warm east coast and uh, turning very cold in the west so but still nationally, 8.5 degrees warmer than a year ago, making it the warmest in four years, 15th warmest in 35 years for the U.S. overall. What than last year? Second wettest in 35 years. We'll see about that. It's all depending on this hurricane potential for Florida and the Outer Banks. Um, potentially some very heavy rain there uh, in the, between the battleground of the cold and the hot. You typically uh, get some stormy weather. So we'll see that in Iowa and Wisconsin uh, here, here later next week. Um, snowfall, least in three years, but ninth most in 35 years, uh, above average. Again, much of that's going to be in the Rocky Mountains, high elevations of the west. Uh, obviously, nothing in the east um, with the really warm conditions. Again, we'll look at the 14-day uh, model animation here, which shows that system coming off of the down into the Caribbean and heading toward Cuba and then uh, potentially skirting with Florida there or early next week, Monday, Tuesday time frame. So we'll have to watch it because it wraps up a pretty pretty decent hurricane. Uh, Florida has South Florida has escaped almost every system this year. 
Uh, we still think you've got some risk here. So um, we may go out with a bang here uh, with Florida here. So again, uh, right now it looks like the Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday time frame next week uh, might be the time to watch. So with that, folks, have a great week, and we will be back here this time next week.